Okay, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and it's my honor to be connecting with you here today. It is a Monday, and uh, it is the 7th day of August, 2017. We've got some very interesting things happening with live stream. Uh, it's going to be very fun and interesting today, as I cannot quite make out what <laughs> Facebook live stream is doing. They've changed some of their parameters and their formatting, and so I will do the best I can. Um, thank you all for joining. Wow, this is going to be interesting. So just so that you know why I keep commenting on this, normally when I'm uh, horizontal like this, all of your posts come across the bottom, the, the length of the horizontal post. Right now they're coming across vertically sideways. So I can't really see what any of you are posting without turning my head to read it like this. So that's why I said it will be interesting. So if you find myself cocking my head to read the post, you'll understand why. Uh, so welcome to everybody. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Uh, as indicated, my name is Master Paul and today I'm going to be, oh, it says I'm sideways. Wonderful. Let's try this. Okay. I'm not happy that I'm forced to do this live stream like this. Let's turn it one more, see if it catches up. It's supposed to automatically adjust. But that's one of the little tweaks that Facebook has to figure out with this new adjustment that they're doing. And so in the meantime, we'll just leave it like this, okay? So thank you for joining. <coughs> um, Facebook changed some weird stuff and it always allows me to have it the other way, but it decided to uh, get weird on me. So welcome everybody. I'm going to have to go a little bit higher now that this is adjusted this way. Try it like that. Ah, adjustments. Okay. So thank you for joining. It is Monday. It is August 7. Tomorrow is actually a very special day. I'll talk a little bit more about that later today. And um, when I was doing my job as a master teacher, we have to do our job, which is can keep ourselves educated and updated. I needed to, to do more reading of my teacher's books. And so I did. And I came across the subject matter for today, which is the Jindan. What is it? How can it serve our soul journey? And why is it important to develop our Jindan? So for all those that stick around today, there will be a very special blessing that they will receive as a gift from my teacher, Master Shah. Uh, so, not an easy blessing to receive. It's one that if you did it on your own, it would take you a long, 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 long time to develop the blessing that He will, from the kindness of His heart, offer you. So, I encourage you to stick around for that. <coughs> Get some water here. Been a long time since I've actually done a vertical video like this. So, what? I'm, I'm working with this much space. <laughs> I, can't, I can't spread my arms out and have you see them. Uh, one of the quirks of working with our beloved Facebook. Thank you, Facebook, for bringing such a blessed audience to me. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Last night I didn't sleep all that well, so I just woke back up after a break about 15 minutes ago. So if you see me rubbing some sleep out of my eye, that's why. So today, uh, it will be actually quite powerful. We're going to do some practices. Uh, we're all going to receive a special blessing that will assist us with developing our jindans. We're going to learn what is a jindan. I'm going to tile that into tomorrow, which is a, uh, an anniversary, if you will, that some of you may appreciate, some of you may really be grateful for, and some of you may wonder why are we celebrating this day on August 8th. But we'll figure that out tomorrow. For now, let us go ahead and connect heart to heart and soul to soul. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. 
This is a hand mudra position for those that are new watching for the first time. We're going to drop our left hand in front of our heart center and the right hand gently remains pointed towards heaven. We're going to close our eyes and we're going to connect all by inviting in divine down source and all the beings of light. So close your eyes, let us connect. Dear our beloved divine, dear Tao, dear source, all beings of light serving the plan of the light side. We love you, we honor you, deeply respect you. Thank you from our heart and soul for all that you do. We ask most humbly and most sincerely for your presence. There are individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Love you, honor, respect you. We invite you to please be present. Dear the soul of the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask that as we chant your mantra, that you reach into each one of our heart centers. Bless us to open our heart center more, to develop our awareness and our awakening. We're extremely humbled, extremely honored, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will chant this mantra to serve you. You can make a request. This is also a gathering tool and a tool that can serve humanity. Blessing begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula Ali Lula Wo I wash in early Wo I run and lay Ali Rung Har Musher Shung Shung I ping on a say Shang I ping on a say. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to scroll back to the beginning and acknowledge all those that have joined. By the way, that is the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. Kristen Rojas has been supporting me for so long now. She's so awesome. She puts various comments, posts, and links that I speak about in her chat boxes. So please refer to that to learn more about this uh, song and how it can serve you and humanity. It is a healing mantra. So welcome to Melissa. Welcome to Susan Jansen. Welcome also to uh, Susan Birchmore, Linda Jansen. Welcome Don Brown. Aloha Lisa Zarniak. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Candy Cornette. Aloha Tammy Lee Blake. Aloha uh, Tony Seymour. Welcome uh, Catherine Gaia Peloto. Aloha Ale. Welcome Suki Singh, welcome Shelly, uh, welcome also Jennifer Crest Smith. Thank you all for hitting that share button, I appreciate that. Letting other people know this could awaken a few souls, could be very valuable. Welcome Julia Lawrence, uh, Aloha Quincy, welcome Quincy. Welcome Jessica Couture, welcome Odilia. And also Aloha to Elizabeth. Aloha Kate, welcome Lily Anna, welcome Kathleen Monahan, welcome Tammy Weinerstrom, welcome Contres uh, Bonnie, welcome Chantal Antoinette, welcome Lisa Prado, welcome Linda Allen, Aloha Kristen Strachan, and uh, welcome also to Heather Lenard, Rose Maestro, Aloha and welcome, welcome uh, Karen Alia, I hope I said that right, welcome uh, Carol Labas, and welcome Angie. Welcome, Yvette. Thank you for all those that have joined for the first time. Uh, my name is Master Paul. I do live streams uh, four days a week, Monday through Thursday. 
The name master doesn't mean I'm special. It simply means that I've earned um, a label, if you will, that says I've studied with a very high level being for about 10 years. And that means I know a little bit more about the subject matter that I speak of than others. And so I hope that what I share with you today will serve you. I share uh, directly from my experiences. I also share some of the materials from his books. The teacher I speak of, his name is Dr. and Master Shah. This is who this teacher is. This is the book I'll be working from today, Soul Healing Miracles. It's backwards in your um, video, I'm aware. Soul Healing Miracles, it's what it's called. And so um, this teacher, just so, because there's so many new people, I need to give a little background. He is a, uh, an extraordinary being. If you do a little homework on me, you'll find out he's quite well known for doing healing miracles. Um, and he validates it. He validates it through science. He validates it through uh, double-blind placebo studies. Um, he validates it through um, many different ways, including video testimonials. And he takes no credit for it. That's what I appreciate about him. He says, you know, of course Creator does all this. I'm just a middleman. And he has brought to humanity some of the highest level wisdoms that only the great uh, masters who study in the, in the deep mountains with the great masters would know. Uh, so if you have 30 years of time on your life and you like to go serve a, a master in China and feed them and, and do their dishes and cook for them and fire them, uh, uh, create their fires for them every night, and if you want to go take care of a master for 30 years, you might be lucky and get some of the wisdom that this teacher shares with the world willingly. That's why I pay attention to his wisdom and that's why I share it because it has saved my soul journey and, and uh, he has transmitted extraordinary abilities uh, to me and my soul to serve you. So welcome also to all those that I have uh, not recognized or acknowledged. Welcome Sarah Rose Knowles. Welcome Robin. Aloha Amir. Welcome Emily Cox. And welcome also uh, Tracy. And Aloha Quincy. Thank you for your sharing. So Master Shah uh, speaks a lot of the human body, of the energy bodies. He shares quite a bit of wisdom in, in uh, several of his books on the, the nature, purpose, and significance of the chakras. He speaks in depth on the nature, purpose, and significance of various energy centers. Uh, he, he spoke at depth multiple times in some of the retreats about how he would go back to visit some of the great masters in China. And one of the places he went was, uh, uh, I don't even remember the name of the temple he went to, but he went to go visit the, re the most renowned Taoist master. Uh, now he studied Confucianism, Buddhism, Taoism, studied all of them. He, he has no religion. He's just, you know, a guru of, of, of all things. And, um, but he went to go see this great master who was known as the most advanced Taoist master. And in Taoism, they work with things called the Jindan, which is the gathering of light in one location in your body. And it takes a, a lifetime of meditation, two to six hours a day, where you're literally focusing on gathering all heaven's light into one part of your body. More on that in a little bit. Um, and so, Master Shah went to this gentleman, and just as with all truly great beings, uh, they don't give you their attention right away. So Master Shah, he understood how, how other masters worked, and he asked to see this master, and he said, come back tomorrow. You know, this is, he, you know, Master Shah is, is a tremendous master in his own cord, but to give up uh, more than one day is, is asking a lot of his time. But he said, yes, I'm happy to do that, master. He came back the next day. Uh, the master said, I'm sorry, I don't have time for you. Can you come back the next day? Master Shah, very gracious to see, yes, I'm happy to serve. And so that later on that night, the story that Master Shah shares is that he, um, he spoke to the, this master's guides. And he said, dear the, the, the teachers of this Taoist master here on earth, uh, they're these teachers, could you please come? And he described with his third eye how he saw them come. And he said, I really need to see this master tomorrow. I want to understand more about a jindan from his earthly perspective from all the teachings he's learned. 
because Master Shah already understood what heaven had taught him, he wanted to learn, learn this from the greatest Taoist master. And he said, so when I go tomorrow, could you please make sure he sees me? They said, the, he, his story is that these uh, beings that came said, yes, Master Shah, we will make sure that he sees you. So Master Shah went back on the third day, and uh, this master agreed to see him. Now, this particular master had a, a nun, if you will, a Buddhist uh, or Taoist monk nun, that had been following him for over 20 years. Uh, and she was sitting next to him, um, going with this story as he's explained it. And so um, they just sat there for about 20 minutes at first. And he could see that this master was scanning his energy body with his third eye. Master Shaw was also scanning this other master's energy body with his third eye. And he could see very clearly that he had a light ball jindon, that this master had developed his very own light ball jindon. It was about two times the size of a fist. So you'll understand just how hard that is to do in a little bit when I explain more. He then went on to, um, uh, the master opened his eyes, and he said, uh, what would you like to know? And so Master Shah asked him uh, what ab about his practices, and he explained that he practices six hours a day, that he meditates, and he collects the Shen, Qi, and Jing, the light, the chi, the energy and matter, and the and life force energy from all universes, six hours a day, he collects it, gathering it into his body and condensing it into this two-inch size light ball, six hours a day. And he had been doing that, he was approximately 75 years old, he had been doing that for over 50 years of his life, six hours a day, 50 years of his life, and he had gathered enough, enough light from the universe that his... Um, his solid light ball was about two, size, two times the size of his fist. Now, you don't understand what that means uh, yet, but in essence what it means is when somebody has a, a light ball the size of their body, they are immortal. They are fully and completely 100% enlightened. Because enlightenment does not mean... Um, many people can reach enlightenment but not be immortal. Big, big, big difference. Uh, immortal means you can disappear and reappear. Energy and matter is, is not controlling you, okay? Whereas immortality, uh, very hard to achieve. Enlightenment, not, you know, it, it's hard, but much easier than immortality. So when somebody develops a jindan the size of their body, they're in essence in control of all the energy and matter that makes up their body. So Master Shah is, is communicating with this most famous Taoist master, and this is what he has accomplished after 50 years. It's highly likely this Taoist master will die, uh, probably won't make it long enough in life, which means he has to do it all over again. How does that sound? Sit 50 years in a monastery, five hours a day, develop a two-inch light ball, and start again next time around. Okay? So to reach the highest layers of enlightenment is actually exceedingly difficult. This master, when Master Shaw asked him another question, Master Shaw asked him, he says, how do you gather the most chi, the most life force energy? And the master said, whenever I think of anything related to sex or sexual uh, behavior, this master obviously didn't do that that much, but he, the question was such that what's the fastest or greatest way to do it? And he said, when somebody uh, captures their sexual energies, uh, does not have sex, but captures his energies and pulls them in, that's when you have the greatest opportunity to build this frequency. I thought that was an interesting answer as well. If you look at the Egyptian walls, a lot of the murals, they show the, the high-level initiates, sometimes with, with erections, uh, the men, and they show the women. Why would they put that on a wall? But if you look at their hands, they're also holding tuning forks, things like that. That's because they're trying to generate as much frequency to gather the light into their, uh, and create a jindon. You see, all these little things you might not have known are starting to connect the dots now. So, uh, that's just general information I've gathered. Master Shah doesn't speak of that. So, the last thing that I want to share with you before I, I go into the details on the jindon is what this gentleman said to Master Shah when he asked him one more question. Uh, before I do that, I want to acknowledge some of the new folks that came in. 
So aloha to Elizabeth. Uh, welcome to Emily Cox. Welcome uh, Christy Viggo. Welcome Stan Dabian. <coughs> if I missed your name, please forgive me. I might not have scrolled back enough. Welcome Mike Felt. Uh, welcome Nicole Talish. Welcome Lisa Be Belevance. And welcome also to um, Gina Vittoria Nanetti. Welcome Samantha Miranda. And welcome to Patty Laramore. Uh, welcome Melly Ann Holmes. A lot of new folks here. I appreciate your, uh, your patience and your presence. Hopefully this wisdom will be of value to you. Uh, if you need to run and you're enjoying this, just um, hit subscribe on my Facebook page and also friend me. And you can always come back and watch the recording and uh, you'll know when I go live. Okay, I understand that everybody can stick around the whole time. Final thing before I go into a little teaching wisdom, and again, for those who stick around, this is my little carrot. There is an extraordinary blessing. You will all receive a Jindan seed, which if you did on your own, would take you two hours a day practice for an entire year. Two hours a day of practice for an entire year, uh, that you will receive that Jindan seed today, okay? But got to stick around or watch the video to get it. So hang in there. Welcome, Richard. Welcome also to Deborah Anderson. The final thing that Master Shah asked this, this, this uh, Taoist master is he said, Dear Master, um, could you please tell me um, how to do your practice? He asked for details. Now, up until this point, this master had shared so many details that the nun lady next to Master Shah, when she walked Master Shah out, she looked at him and she said, I have no idea who you are or who you know. This master, my teacher said he never met you. Is that true? Master said, yes, I've never met him. She said, my teacher shared with you things I have been asking him for 20 years. And the only reason I got to hear it was because I was in your presence at this time. So, why did this master share these things with Master Shah? That's the first question I want you to ask yourself. So Master Shah asked his final question, said, Dear, dear uh, Taoist Master, uh, could you please share with me your methods? And this Taoist Master looked at Master Shah and said, You don't need to understand what I do. The, you have, um, he used a Mandarin Chinese word, but he said, You have heaven's treasures. Because this Taoist master could see in Master Shah's body. And he saw that the Jin Don in Master Shah's body was almost the size of his body. So this Taoist master, the most renowned in all of China, was the size of two fists. And he could see in Master Shah's body, it was a, almost the size of his body. He said, you have heaven's Jin Don. So this Taoist master knew. He could tell that Master Shah was very, very special. Most of you don't even know who Master Shah is. Now you are starting, starting to get a little more comprehension of how special this being of light is for humanity. That he is able to deliver to us the extraordinary blessings that, that we can receive are, are just astounding. For those that wait, they will receive a Jindan seed. That would take you a year of your own practice to receive. That's how uh, extraordinary this master is. All right, so let's find out what is a Jindan. So this is from the Soul Healing Miracles book. Uh, highly recommend it for those that are on the spiritual journey, uh, those that are looking to bring some healing to themselves. It is an amazing book. Uh, this is from page 109, chapter 3. And the title is Sacred Source Jindan, Meditation for Healing, Rejuvenation, Prolonging Life and Transforming Relationship, Finances, and Every Aspect of Life. Okay, that's the title. And he, he speaks, when I awoke early on August 7, 2013, what's today? August 7, 2017. I did not know that when I picked this up to, 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 to serve you today. I would just ask heaven, what should I teach? This is where they directed me to. I think that's very interesting myself. Uh, the source taught me a sacred and very powerful meditation to develop energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. I was so honored to receive this teaching that the source shared with humanity. Welcome Laila Faith. Welcome Malia Ann Holmes. 
Welcome everybody else that I haven't mentioned your name. Thank you for your presence. Um, August 7, 2013 was a very special day. At the moment, it's 10.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, August... Uh, okay, so he received the meditation August 7th. As he's writing this, it was August 8th, which is also a special day. I'll talk about that uh, at 10.30 p.m. And today is... It'll be tomorrow, actually is the 10th birthday of the Soul Light Era. Soul Light Era, I don't even have time to go into that. But just ask yourself this question. Is it pretty blasé and normal to throw around the word soul nowadays? Pretty much, right? Wasn't so much 10, 15 years ago, was it? The Soul Light Era ushers in soul over matter versus mind over matter. We are moving into an era. So... It was ushered in August 8, 2003. So before he shares the sacred meditation, he's going to offer you some wisdom on what is a Jin Don. Jin means gold. Don means light ball. Jin Don means gold and light ball. The Jin Don is located in the lower abdomen, just below the navel in the center of the body. Just below the navel in the center of the body. It is not... A chakra. It is an area in which the beginning of your seed of becoming a pure light immortal vessel begins. That's where the Jindan seed begins. A Jindan is made of, and this is the most important thing, I, I brought out my slide from last week. If any of you are enjoying this and you enjoy the soul food, food for your soul, Go back to last week's teachings. Go to my Facebook page, friend me, subscribe. Scroll back to last week's teachings, specifically the Thursday one, where I speak of uh, comprehending the soul with science. Because I go into detail on this. Let's see if I can fit it in the screen. I'll, give, I'll leave it up long enough for you guys to read it. What does it say? It says, S plus C plus M equals 1. S is soul which is Shen, Qi, Jing, that's the middle, Shen, Qi, Jing. What does it mean? Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. So when he says a Jindan is made up of Shen, Qi, and Jing, it means it is made up of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. So let's scroll backwards 10 minutes. These, this great being of light, this Taoist master, trained six hours a day, 50 years gathering the soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, Shen, Qi, and Jing, of heaven, of Mother Earth, of all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, of Buddhas, of Confucius, of all of the, whoever he studied, and he gathers and sucks in, in essence, the Shen, Qi, Jing of all life and condenses it in his lower abdomen and forms a light ball the size of two fists. That's what Shen, Qi, Jing is. It's not uh, hocus pocus stuff and that's how you reach towards enlightenment these great masters uh, uh, have extraordinary wisdom but I tell you it's not easy to get there so if you would like to know more about the 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 mechanics of it it's, it's an excellent explanation on Thursday's live stream okay what is the power and significance of the jindan the Jindan is the key to boosting energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. Do you have enough energy? Do you have enough vitality? Are you kind of low? Why would having a golden light ball in your abdomen help you have energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because it represents the source energy, the gathering of all creation into your body. Of course. That's why we want to build a Jindan, aside from reaching layers of enlightenment, aside from reaching towards becoming an immortal being, it helps us in the physical world, right? Jindan is the key to healing the spiritual body, all of our karmic blockages, which create suffering in the mental body, the emotional body, and our physical bodies. How do we reverse all of our suffering in these areas? Create the Jindan, bring in the source frequencies, align to the source frequencies, uplift ourselves to the source frequencies. 
We do that through very special and specific practices. That's why, thank you to all of my, my watch, my viewers that continue to come back, your soul, your energy body, your physical, emotional, mental, spiritual bodies have all dramatically improved and your life, whether you want to recognize it or not, has gotten better and better over time. Uh, some of you have vacillated, but just like going up to the mountain, you do have a few valleys on the way up, but you're all getting better. Why? Because you're developing your light. Jindan is the key to preventing all sickness. It is the key to rejuvenating the soul, heart, mind, and body. It is the key to prolonging your life. Anybody want to have an enjoyable life, not one when you're in a wheelchair sucking on an uh, air machine? How do you accomplish that? You develop your Jindan. Welcome to uh, LT Lawrence. Welcome, Jessica. Welcome, Adrian. Uh, welcome to Chloe. The Jindan is the key to enveloping mind intelligence and heart intelligence. Heart intelligence is more important than mind intelligence. It's the releasing of jealousy. It's the releasing of, of um, uh, greediness. Heart intelligence. It is the key for enlightenment, for transforming your finances and business. Who wouldn't want to do that? And it is the key to offering service to others. So as you can tell, Jindan is not a little thing very, very important. Now I'm going to describe a special sacred area for uh, focus. It's called the Tao point. It's also called the Mingmen acupuncture point. It is a special sacred area. Uh, when, this is, what is the special sacred area of the body for you to receive the Jindan and this seed? He's not going to put it in this lower abdomen area. He's going to give you this Jindan through this book. I'm going to, uh, I've received the authorities to transmit it to you. Um, it's going to be distributed to your Mingmen acupuncture point. This is the Tao point. I've offered an entire one hour teaching on this, so I can't go into it now. But the Mingmen acupuncture point, <coughs> Ming means life, M-I-N-G. Mandarin Chinese means life. Men, M-E-N, means gate. Mingmen means life gate. Don't you love that? I love how uh, the Asian cultures have these awesome names for these different energy points. <coughs> Need more water, excuse me. The Mingmen acupuncture point is located directly behind the navel, straight back to that dip in your back. So draw an invisible line, touch your navel, go straight back to that dip in your back. That's where your Mingmen point is. <coughs> it is the life gate, it is the headquarters, this is important, of the Mingmen fire and the Mingmen water. The life gate fire and the life gate water. Mingmen fire is the most important yang in the body. Mingmen fire is the root yang of the whole body. A lot of people have no clue yin and yang. Yin and yang when we are 100% balanced in yin and yang, we are immortal. When we are 100% balanced in yin and yang, we are free of all emotional blockages, all physical suffering, everything. Why? Because yin and yang is created when we are away from source. Yin and yang was created initially when we separated ourselves from source by a thought that was separate because we are oneness. So what is creation? What is everything? It is separation from source. What is the path back? It is return to source by moving back towards oneness. So yin and yang is another word that represents a lack of balance. And female, male, you can go down a variety of paths with the wisdom. But understand that yang represents the fire, yin represents the water. And this Tao point, the Mingmen point, is very related to this bigger picture. The Mingmen fire is the root force for promoting the human being's growth, development, and reproduction. <clears throat> Mingmen uh, Ming fire promotes water metabolism. Mingmen water, which is the yin, 
is the material foundation of the kidneys and the yin function. Uh, excuse me, let me repeat that. Ming Men water is the material foundation of the kidney's yang function. Ming Men water nourishes all systems and all organs. So it feeds and nourishes. The hub of the most important energy circle and the most important matter circle. Okay, how many of you know uh, about the circle that runs through the body, right? Through the seven chakras, goes, goes up over the head, back down in front of the spine. Okay, most people know that there's a loop in the body. It goes by many different names. The hub means the point where it originates. That's the Ming Men point. You starting to understand how important this one area is? That's where this uh, Jindan seed will be delivered. <laughs> The most important energy circle from the Hui Yin acupuncture point at the bottom of your torso goes up through the body and back down and connects here. Okay. It is also called the Tao point. Tao is the source. Tao is the way of all life. Tao is the universal principles and laws. And Tao is not Taoism. Tao is a word that represents all that created all. It's utilized in the East, the same way over here in the West, we might say creator or source. In the East, they'll say Tao, the Tao, the source. Okay, so don't get tripped up on nomenclature. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to do a little preparation before I deliver this uh, seed to you. Aloha, Veronica. Uh, aloha to uh, Sonia. Welcome. Aloha, Emily. Uh, excuse me, Emma. Excuse me. And welcome to uh, Melly Ann Holmes. Welcome everybody else. Uh, Catherine Gaia Pelota. Uh, if I missed your name, please forgive me. Welcome. So, we use in uh, this wisdom, this teachings, four powers: body power, mind power, sound power, soul power. So everybody, sit up straight. We're going to do a practice now. Prepare our body to receive the Jindan seed that we then will do practice to grow and develop. All right? Body power, sit up straight. Back free from the back of the chair, unless it's uncomfortable. Why? It allows the chi to flow through our spine, our spinal column, through our chakras. Place the tip of your tongue gently against the roof of your mouth. For me, I like placing my tongue near the front of my teeth on the roof of my mouth. It's very easy and relaxed to there. This connects an area where there's a break in that channel of the chi flowing through the body. Okay? Place your feet flat on the ground as appropriate. If you can, touch your heels together. This grounds you very carefully to Mother Earth. Place one palm over your navel. Place the other palm over your Ming Men point. Again, where is the Ming Men point? Directly back from your navel. Draw an invisible line from your belly button straight to that dip in your back. That's your Ming Men point. So you place one palm, the center of your palm, over that area in your back. The other one over your navel. Okay, that's your body power. Now, your arm might get a little tired. It is okay to switch your arms uh, to opposite points. All right? Soul power. This is the most important for all those that are new, and there is a lot of new people. Comprehend the value of soul power. You're getting almost no education on it today, just a little bit, so bear with me. Soul power, say hello to the inner souls. Dear soul, mind, and body of the Ming Min acupuncture point. Now we're connecting to the soul of this very special point. Repeat. Dear soul, mind, and body of my Ming Min acupuncture point. I love you, honor you. I appreciate you. You are the key to boosting my energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. You are the key for healing and rejuvenation. You are the key to transforming my life. I cannot honor you enough. Please develop yourself and heal and rejuvenate me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now we say hello to the outer souls. Continue to repeat if it is comfortable. Always only do these things if you're comfortable, okay? Dear Divine, dear the Tao, the Source, my beloved Creator, I love you, I honor you, I appreciate you. 
You can also say to those beings that are important to you, many people, they align to Jesus. Some align to Mother Mary, some Buddha, some Krishna. Call their souls. They are here to serve us. Ask them to come to serve. Perfectly okay. Please forgive me and my ancestors for our mistakes in all lifetimes. Please remove soul, mind, body blockages in my Ming Min Dao point. I am very grateful for all the blessings you willingly share with me. Thank you. So what are we doing with soul power? Connecting to the inner souls, asking the beings of light to gather their light and bless us. What did the Taoist master in China that Master Shah meet? That's exactly what he did, but he did it six hours a day for 50 years. We don't have to do that. We know the shortcut. Stick around. <clears throat> Mind power. Concentrate on the Ming Men acupuncture point. On your uh, back, directly behind your navel, visualize a bright golden light point forming in your Ming Men acupuncture point. So at this point, at that dip in your back, visualize a bright, bright, bright light forming there. From all of the Jing, Qi, and Shen gathering. So you, what do you visualize? You see stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. Buddhas, Jesus, Mother Mary, God, Creator. Shining their light. And it's all condensing in that one point. At that little dip in your back. That's the visualization. Got it? For the sound power, we are going to chant. Shen, Qi, Jing, Ming, Min, He, Yi. Shen Qi Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, Ming Min, you know what that is. He Yi means becomes one. So we're gathering the light into one point. Shen Qi Jing, Ming Min, He Yi. All right? So let us close our eyes, place our hands where you were told to place them, visualize gathering the light in our Ming Min point, repeat after me. Shen Qi Jing, Ming Min, He Yi. Shen Qi Jing Ming Min He Yi 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 Shen Qi Jing Ming Min He Yi. This mantra is gathering the light to your Ming Men and forming one ball. Shen Qi Jing Ming Min He Yi. 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 Shen Qing Jing Ming Min He Yi Shen Qi 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 Jing Ming Min He Yi Continue to visualize gathering the light from the sun into that very fine point. See the sunlight gathering into that fine point on your back, making it brighter and brighter. Gather Mother Earth's Qi Shen Qi and Jing frequencies through your feet, up through your legs, coming to your Ming Men point. Notice them gathering together. It's condensing, making this Ming Men point brighter and brighter. And now the moon, which is full at this time, is sending its light to your Ming Min point. Gather the light from the moon. And as you notice, there are hundreds, thousands, millions of stars happily dancing 
sending you their light to your Ming Min point. Gather the Shen Qi and Jing from the stars, from the sun, from the moon, from Mother Earth to your Ming Min point. There is much beautiful life on Earth. The purity of our beloved rivers, our oceans, the dolphins and the whales, the beautiful pristine forests and trees of the redwoods, they are sending you their greatest love and light, their Shen Qi and Jing. Gather their love and light to your Ming Min point. There are the planets stars, there are other galaxies, nebulas, universes that all have heavens, source, Shen Qi and Jing. Receive their blessings of light, gather their light to your Ming Men point. See the Ming Men point being brighter and brighter. Gather the lights. There are beings of light, Archangels, Archangel Michael is sending you his light, Archangel Ariel sending you her light, Archangel Uriel sending you his light. All of the Archangels are sending you their Shen, Qi, and Jing because they love you. They are happy to see you growing your enlightenment in your sacred Ming Men point. Gather the light in the Ming Men point directly from your belly button straight across to your back in that dip in your back. Gather the light from the angels, from the heavens, from Mother Earth, from the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. Continue to see it. And now Jesus and Buddha, angels, healing angels, Masters and Ascendant Masters send you their light, gather their love, gather their light, collect it in your Ming Min point. Continue to gather as we chant. Shen Shi Jing He Yi, gather my energy. Shin Qin Qi Jian He Yi, Gather my energy, Xing Qi Jing He Yi. Gather my energy, Xing Qi Jing He Yi. Gather my energy, Xing Qi Jing Qi Shen He Yi. Gather my energy. Jing Qi Shen He Yi, gather my energy. Now, while your eyes are closed, I will deliver this blessing to you, to your Ming Men point. Keep your eyes closed. If you do not wish to receive, simply tell, Heaven, uh, thank you, but no thank you. I need to understand more. Then you can go back and watch the same video and receive later if you desire. Prepare. How? Through the power, authority, Master Shah has delivered to me as his worldwide representative. Source order. Ming Men Jin Dan Seed Soul Mind Body Transplants. To all those watching, all those listening, as appropriate. To their Ming Men point. Transmission! Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, yo, turn on 24 7. Transmission! Congratulations, you are extremely blessed. Keep your eyes closed. If you feel moved, please bow your head to the Divine Dao and Source, our beloved Creator, for their generosity to offer you this priceless, permanent treasure as a gift. 
We will now continue to practice. You are to visualize this Jindan seed. The seed is the size of the tenth of a piece of rice. This seed would take you one year to develop, two hours a day practice. It is the amount of light similar to what a star would put out to give you an idea. It is extremely, extremely powerful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, heaven, for this incredible blessing. We will now chant, the source Ming Min Jin Don seed is shining, vibrating, and rotating counterclockwise. Watch it rotating counterclockwise. Repeat, the source Ming Min Jin Don seed is shining, vibrating, and rotating counterclockwise. Thank you. The Jing Qi Shen of the Source, continue to repeat, the Jing Qi Shen of the Source and Tian Di Ren He Yi grow my Ming Min Jin Dan. Thank you. The Source Ming Min Jin Dan Seed is shining, vibrating, and rotating counterclockwise. Thank you. The Jing Qi Shen of the Source and Tian Di Ren He Yi grow my Ming Min Jin Dan. Thank you. The Source Ming Min Jin Dan Seed is shining, vibrating, and rotating counterclockwise. Thank you. The Jing Qi Shen of the Source and Tian Di Ren He Yi grow my Ming Min Jin Dan. Thank you. The Source Ming Min Jin Dan Seed is shining, vibrating, and rotating counterclockwise. Thank you. The Jing Qi Shen of the Source and Tian Di Ren He Yi grow my Ming Min Jin Dan. Thank you. The Jing Qi Shen of the Source and Tian Di Ren He Yi grow my Ming Min Jin Dan. Thank you. The Source Ming Min Jin Dan Seed is shining, vibrating, and rotating counterclockwise. Thank you. The Jing Qi Shen of the Source and Tian Di Ren He Yi grow my Ming Min Jin Dan. Thank you. One more time. The, the Jing Qi, the Source Ming Min Jin Dan Seed is shining, vibrating, and rotating counterclockwise. Thank you. The Jing Qi Shen of the Source and Tian Di Ren He Yi is growing my Ming Min Jin Dan. Thank you. So we will finish by a little more chanting. Please repeat after me. Shen Qi Jing He Yi grows my Ming Min Jin Dan. Shen Qi Jing He Yi grows my Ming Min Jin Dan. Shen Qi Jing He Yi grows my Ming Min Jin Dan. Shen Qi Jing He Yi grows my Ming Min Jin Dan. Shen Qi Jing He Yi grows my Ming Min Jin Dan. Focus. Gather the light from everywhere. Really gather it. Condense it. Shen Qi Jing He Yi grows my Ming Min Jin Dan. Shen Qi Jing He Yi grows my Ming Min Jin Dan. Shen Qi Jing He Yi grows my Ming Min Jin Dan. Shen Qi Jing He Yi 
grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Shi Jing He Yi, grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, little faster, Shen Shi Jing He Yi, grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Shi Jing He Yi, grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Shi Jing He Yi, grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Shi Jing He Yi, grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Shi Jing He Yi, grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Shi Jing He Yi, grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Shi Jing He Yi, grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Shi Jing He Yi, grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Shi Jing He Yi. Grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Grows my Ming Min Jin Dan, Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Grows my Ming Min Jin Dan. Ha ha ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, before you open your eyes, tune in to your body. Notice if you're vibrating. Notice where the vibration is. Several people have already commented that they're sweating. I'm sweating. Pay attention. Where is the chi moving in your body? If you had any third eye images, what were they? Share those. Whatever your experience, it was perfect. If you experienced nothing, trust me, a lot happened. Okay? You received something that would take you a year, two hours practice every day to have accomplished on your own. If you came in the last 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes and you're curious enough to watch the whole live stream, Go back and watch it again. Uh, subscribe and, and friend me, but you can go back and watch it again. Um, and you will get uh, a life treasure blessing transmitted to you that is just so extraordinary. So Melianne shares that she saw geometric shapes. Quincy says the seed is vibrating and flashing many different white and golden lights. The seed is sprouting into a huge light ball bigger than all the universes. Yes, it's very possible. So... A lot of people meditate, a lot of people do spiritual practices, a lot of people are all over the board with their practices. I'm not here to tell you what practices are right or wrong or good or bad for you. I can only share with you what I've come to learn by the focused practices I've done with my teacher, Master Shah. Again, for those that are new or just coming in, this is the book I was using, Soul Healing Miracles. This is my teacher, Master Shah, world-renowned healer, world-renowned master, uh, grandmaster in four modalities. So, um, if you would like to know more, you know, stay tuned. Um, many of you have been watching, and what happens when I offer you a special blessings from the book? What happens when you come to me and I offer you uh, um, a healing and transmission system for a chakra, uh, a new heart chakra, or a new uh, lower dantian, or a new third eye? Do you even know that's possible? Some of you don't even know that's possible. These are all jindons. These are all literally light balls, okay? And the only reason I have the authorities to do these is because of my teacher. I am just a nobody, really, if it wasn't for all of the power that he has transmitted to me. But the power that he has transmitted to me is beyond, 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 beyond anything on earth extraordinary because it's very hard to develop a jindan, and yet each time a blessing is delivered, that is what you are receiving. And the jindans are then uh, transferred to your Ming Men point. Why? There are four certain body parts, organs, or systems, but the soul of the jindans go to your Ming Men point. So you can develop that light ball to become the size of a fist, two fists, so that eventually, if you live long enough, you have the possibility the possibility of being uh, uh, 
at the highest layers of enlightenment and possibly reaching immortality. All right. So I have to wrap up for today. It has been my great honor to connect with each and every one of you. If you'd like to know more about me and my services, go to my website listed above, asoulhealer.com. I do offer uh, extraordinary life-saving blessings. I offer blessings that can clear uh, chakras, um, new third eyes, stuff that you just need to learn more, okay? Uh, I'm here Monday through Thursday, same time, same place. Uh, if you like this, subscribe. And you'll be know when I go live. Also, um, share it. Tell your friends about it. For all those that are new, thank you for taking the time to be with me. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All beings of light, all those that came, respect their return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. Mahalo. See you tomorrow.